as I may not be in the mood to wish anybody well on the way back, I think I shall start by telling you the birthdays for this week. They are as follows. Max Strewer, uh, Carstin M. Lenjoint, Belinda Dunn, Matt Tiffany, Brandon Mickens, Mac Frederick, TJ O'Brien, Simon Flanagan, Matthew Dean, and Jeff Crow. Nice mixture there of people from the forum, uh, from work, and uh, <clears throat> and online. Um, so I hope they all have fantastic birthdays. I do apologise if you're picking up the wind. Um, we've gone into a nice spell of weather here. It's it's bright and sunny, but it's quite cold. Onwards then for my uh, belator supports. On the preliminary card I've got Chase Beeb and on the main card Ben Saunders um, and Douglas Lima. Although I do happen to like Brian Baker who is fighting as well. So, um, look out online because my UFC on Fuel TV 7 recap is up um, as are my UFC 157 predictions and I, I say some stuff in there that maybe shouldn't be missed to be honest. Um, this past week has been very busy. Um, we've had everything from Valentine's Day uh, to Pancake Day to the start of Lent. Um, I've been busy as well. Martin Brown, my good friend from university, came uh, finally to visit Mark and Field. This is the first time he's visited, um, just slightly a year over the acquisition, but a year under actually moving in. And I'm pleased to say, I think he likes it. <laughs> okay, so now it's safe to say that I'm actually pissed off. I'm um, on the... Uh, well, I don't quite know what the name of this estate is. It's a trading estate where ADP is based. And, and home base, as you can tell. Um, and uh, I've come along for my filling. I Every time I have to do this right, I have to get a 15 minute bus ride into town then I have to walk the best part of 30 to 40 odd minutes um, at a reasonable pace to get here it takes up a lot of time because then I have to walk 30 or 40 minutes back so needless to say when I got there and they told me actually my appointment wasn't this Monday it's next Monday I was not amused the good thing is, I feel fine because I haven't had my filling done. The bad news is I wanted to get it filled as quickly as possible. It's never too good to leave uh, a filling that's fallen out, out for too long. Um, it doesn't hurt that much at the moment, so I suppose there's no problem. I have two uh, painkillers before bed and um, I'm usually alright during the day. Um, but I am a bit annoyed because now I have to go through all this all over again. I have to say that this last week um, has been one of the most stressful weeks of my entire life. And I have a funny feeling that this next week is going to be the same because the, uh, the two things that have caused me such stress, neither of them are going away. The first stress is <coughs> this, this teeth tooth problem so I was eating a ham sandwich and it must have been uh, late on the Saturday uh, not last Saturday but the Saturday before so a week and a bit ago and I felt something crunchy and I thought what the hell is that and it was a funny colour and for the first first few minutes I thought I'd actually broken a tooth is it bone colour um, my fillings are on the front teeth so they're not like fillings you have where you drill out the tooth and put a filling in they're surface coverings um, and they're basically stuff that this sort of poly polyfibered stuff which is stuck on and then dried with some sort of laser they don't seem to be very good I have had four done 
of which I know that one was definitely deserved because I felt the pain when it started um, and I needed to go and see them about it. Um, the other one, uh, there was one that was behind the tooth and I'm not sure if that went away or if they filled it or not. Um, and then of course there were two others done which I actually don't think I needed doing. I think this was done by my dentist called Vladimir who has since terminated his employment with them. I don't know how good he was. I don't know how good the fillings were. But I do know that uh, one of them, this one, had dropped out and, and it's only been in there a year and a half and apparently they only look after these fillings they're only sort of guaranteed for a year well if I have four fillings right and I have to pet it and they drop out say after a year and a half that's me every year having to pay 48 pounds each to get them put back in I don't have that sort of money and I don't like fillings I don't like the process um, I wouldn't say I'm frightened of the pain actually the pain is not a problem I've got an extremely high pain threshold and that is not what bothers me what bothers me is the noise I don't like the noise and I hate people stuffing stuff in my mouth um, like that you know the suction thing the second thing that has made this week extremely um, so there was that the second thing that has happened this week which has made it quite stressful is the tonsils uh, so uh, about whew, uh, two or th three weeks ago now I started having a swelling on my tonsil and I thought it was just the tonsil being infected so after two weeks when it didn't go away I went to the doctors um, and it was quite large by this time it was growing at quite an alarming rate one millimetre every two days it had hit the sort of dingly dangly bit in the middle and it was starting to grow back and so that's when I <coughs> booked an appointment and I, I actually booked it during work time which is something that I almost never do um, so I thought it was quite serious and I expected her to give me antibiotics for it to go away and she said it wasn't the tonsil it was a growth on the tonsil um, a polyp that was growing on the tonsil and uh, uh, that frightened me. Polyps in themselves are um, non-cancerous growths. Uh, they are basically self-contained tumours. Uh, you can be born with them uh, or, or they can just sort of develop and they're usually harmless. They don't, they tend to grow and then stop and just exist. Um, and they're usually made out of the same material they grow out of and they like to grow out of mucous membranes so you get a lot of them in your uh, digestive tract um, and uh, that includes the nasal cavity and you can also get them <coughs> you know sort of with the respiratory tract as well the only problem that, tom uh, that uh, polyps can uh, give you is um, Obviously, they have a tendency to grow as much as they can until they are confined by uh, the space they are within, which is fine, except, of course, that space is often being used for something else, like, for example, breathing. Uh, they can obstruct airways, and at that point they need to be removed. They can also, of course, at any time, be uh, cancerous or turn cancerous. They are, I suppose, in effect all precancerous by nature. Um, the thing is that usually uh, they're benign and they don't end up growing. Oh, people often hear this bit, don't they? Um, and of course my worry all the time is, well, you know, is, is it cancerous? And, you know, it's a silly thing to worry about because uh, I've been referred to the, um, the, uh, the hospital to have it looked at by, you know, professionals in ears, nose and throat. Um, and uh, that is happening very quickly in fact um, it will be within basically two weeks around about two weeks but I looked that up online and the NHS did say where cancer is a possible suspect they like to try and see people within two weeks you know my mind goes like that and I just think 
Oh shit. Um, I don't think I would be one of these people who, um, you know, that you hear that they're having, you know, some sort of dreadful illness, terminal illness, and they're, you know, an ex shining example to everybody. Um, you know, I happen to think that I would probably just dissolve into a, a pile of worry and never be seen again. Um, but both of those things this week have added a lot of stress to me. And, you know, I fared quite well. I have fared quite well. I'm proud of the way that I've not been as um, <coughs> anxious as I could have been. But I'm now annoyed because, of course, I thought at least the tooth thing would be sorted out this week. And then there would just be the tonsil thing. And now I've got to go through... I've got another week before this tooth thing gets sorted out. And then another week after that until the tonsil gets... It's like, you know... So... You know, now I'm here, I may as well enjoy myself. I'm going to look round the uh, the plant centre, the home base plant centre, and I'm going to uh, do some administration in uh, the Morrison's Cafe. I would usually do it in town, um, but obviously by the time I get back to town, it's, it's... Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's such a fucking hassle to get here. Um, that it's annoying and, and you know I've basically wasted my afternoon uh, on this and now I find that next week I'm going to have to waste it again and it's not for doing something that is terribly enjoyable